Excuse me, Kennedy, I'm sorry. I... It's all right. I'm actually very pleased. <laughs> I bumped into our director and our drinks got spilled over him. And so what, did he fire you? Well, no, he said he was very pleased. <laughs> Girls? To us. So how's the vacation planning going? Mm. Sergey and I haven't quite decided where we're going. We're tired of the same old beaches. We want something unusual. With adrenaline, with drive, you know? You guys should go to Africa. They have Ebola. There's so much drive, so much adrenaline, you'll get an amazing <laughs> tan. <laughs> What are your plans with Igor? We're flying out to Venice. It's so romantic. The bridge of size. So cool. <laughs> I was in Venice once. It's a total swamp. And the bridge wasn't for lovers to sigh, but for prisoners before the execution. Calm down. Don't be so dramatic. Masha, and where's Igor, huh? He hasn't come by in a while. Who's going to bring us more drinks? I'll be back. Okay. All right. Once and forever. <sighs> mm. Masha won't say anything. She hasn't slept in two nights. Nico, did you hear me? Mm-hmm. You've just got to ask better. I'm sure she'll tell you. What do you mean, better? I already asked. They broke up and that's it. But the real question is why they broke up. I don't know. It's such a pity. I liked Igor. He's become a talented lawyer. And the parents are good, and he's got a nice flat. I don't know what went wrong. Soon I'm gonna have my own apartment and I'm gonna be supporting both of you. So are you having tea or coffee or what? Mm -mm. No, I'm already running late. Can I have that? So, I'll see you later. You two are the best, my favorites. I love you both. I'm all right, seriously. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Everything's okay. Hmm. Sure. Masha, sorry. Excuse me, sir. Can you paint over that message, please? No, I'm sorry, miss. If I do that, I'm not gonna have enough for a second layer. Is this enough? 
Sure, it's enough. Then I suggest you get started. Right away. I'm sorry, Genichi. I was away for a second. It happens. And what's your name? Andre. Get to work, Andre. Hello, Genichi. Good morning. Good morning, Rita. Ah, uh, you asked me to remind you that you need to resolve the issue with the head of the financial department. Yeah, I remember. Listen, there's a new girl in the department, Cherkasova. I'd like to see her in my office. Pyotr Fomich, hello. You have a guy at the gate, Andre, if I remember correctly. What's wrong with him? I swear, whenever I come, he's not there, and I'm waiting like a ram at the front gate. Yes? May I? Yeah, listen, do something about it. You better fire him. Hello, Masha. Hello. How's your work? Difficult without the boss, I imagine. It's hard, Genji, but I think we're doing all right. Well, what else can you do? You know, I was thinking of appointing you department chief. Better than hiring a complete stranger. Me? I've only been working for a year. So what? You have a wonderful education. Of course, your work experience isn't all there, but we'll help you with that. The most important thing is a bright and diligent mind, and you've got it. Thank you, Genji. Seriously, I'll do my best. Well, your candidacy still has to be approved by the bank's vice president. But don't worry, it's just a formality. So then, we'd like to welcome you to the team. Can I go now? Yes. Cherkasova Masha Nikolaevna, appointed head of the department with salary according to the staff's schedule. And why this all of a sudden? Well, it's either Genji put his sights on her, or I don't understand men at all. Indeed, it's strange. She's been working for a short while, and she's already the head. Be careful, sweetie. I know how these young piranhas are. She'll seduce that guy, and you won't even notice. Cut it out, Rita. Is he alone? Alone? Beauty is an amazing power. Anything else? This one too? I heard that we just got a new head of the department. You heard right. Klebova took her maternity leave two months ago. It was about time. Hmm. And why pick Cherkasova? She has no experience. She's been here for a year. There's nothing special about her. <sighs> Let's just see what she can do. Everyone deserves their chance to shine. Hmm. It's motivation. <sighs> I just wanted to remind you that I could always use some motivation. Well, after all, I'm your deputy. Well, sorry, I'm a little busy. Listen, uh, can you introduce Cherkasova to the department? I gotta go soon. Of course. I'll see you tonight, my teddy. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> ah, wait until tonight. Can I have your attention, please? I want to introduce you to the newly appointed head of your department, Cherkasova Masha Nikolaevna. This is Genaji Petrovich's decision. I'm sure you all know Masha. I know she only started here recently, but she's proved herself in more ways than one. 
Therefore, she deserved this promotion. Does anyone have questions? Well, if there are no questions, then everything's clear. They're all yours, Masha Nikolaevna. I wish you the best of luck. Uh, this is as much as a surprise for me, as I'm sure it is for you. I just really hope that we don't end up disappointing each other. Masha, let's go. We need to go to the HR department. There's something I don't get. In exactly how many ways has she proven herself? <laughs> come on, come on. In all the different ways Genji loves best? Have a good night, Mia. Hope you have a good shift. Thank you, Masha. Have a good night. Good night. Masha, hi. These are for you. Give them to someone else. Come on, let's talk. We shouldn't just leave things the way that we did. I know of a wonderful new restaurant. Look, I'm not going anywhere with you. I don't want to talk to you. It's my fault and I'm ready to completely atone for my sins. Tell me what to do so that you forgive me. I already told you. Just please leave me alone, Igor. Well, what about Venice? I've already booked tickets. Igor, I really wanted to go to Venice with a man that I loved. Not with a scoundrel. Masha. Seriously, if you have the tiniest bit of conscience left, just stop calling. Well, you're wrong about that. I have no conscience. <sighs> Where are you going? Enough is enough, Xena. It's time to go into my lonely cave. Mm. Why the cave? It's so cold and boring in there. Why don't you stay with me? Mm. No, Xena. I need to get some work done. And with you, I can't concentrate. All right, I'll just hide in the kitchen. You won't see me or hear me. Why would... You want to hide in your own house, Xena. You'd better rest. I'll see you at work tomorrow. And don't see me out. You'll catch a cold. So then, one copy of the contract will be taken to the accounting department and the other remains with you. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> Treat yourself, don't be shy. So now that you'll be working more hours, um, I hope your boyfriend doesn't mind. No, I don't have one. How so? So beautiful and alone? <laughs> uh, is there anyone that you like around here? I just think that a workplace is meant for work. <laughs> Good answer, well done. <laughs> I have the first project for you. This is the quarterly IFRS report. I took the liberty of starting it for you. But now it's going to be your job. Can you manage? Well, I'll try to. Don't worry, I'll check it after you're done with it, okay? Can I get started? Yes, of course. <laughs> Feel free to come by for some tea more often.
Miss, what are you doing here? I'm working. Do you know what time it is? I know, but I need to finish a very important report. I understand, but you'll have to finish it tomorrow during business hours. The fact is that according to my instructions, at this time there are to be no strangers in the building. And who are you? I've never seen you around the bank in my life. Who, me? I'm the new guard. My name is Egor Petrov. Egor. Just give me a little bit more time for my report, please. Mitya lets me stay late when I- Mitya has his own rules. I have instructions that I must follow, otherwise I'll be fired. So I'm sorry, but I'll have to ask you to leave. So what do you think, that I'm just staying here late because I want to, or what? No, I don't think that. I'm just saying that an order is an order and it has to be observed. <laughs> Unbelievable. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Sova, where have you been? I've been looking for you. Hurry now, Kennedy is waiting for you. What, right now? Yes, we have to go right away, come on. But the report, what report? Tomorrow, get moving. Tell me, where did Ganaji and Cherkasova go? He said, to meet the rest of the board, to introduce Cherkasova. Why do you ask? Turns out it's gonna be harder than I thought to trick that girl. But I thought of something. I'll come over in about half an hour and we'll chat a bit. Our vice president really took a liking to you. I saw how he was looking at you. I was so scared when he started asking me all those questions about transactions. Just like in the <laughs> exam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lvovich just loves to portray himself as a tough banker. Well then, Masha Nikolaevna, let's drink to your new appointment. How about dinner at a fancy restaurant? Okay. But not too fancy. Fine with me. <laughs> By the way, I do have another reason for us to be celebrating. So I guess we have a double reason. <laughs> Do you want to know what the reason is? I'd love to hear it. Zena calling. I'm going to be leaving you soon. Moscow. To the head office. I've accepted a promotion. You're the best man for the job, congratulations. It's a pity, of course, that you'll be leaving us. Well, that depends. I think I'll be allowed to take a couple of my own people with me. Do you want to go with me? I need beautiful and smart people in Moscow. 
Genji, listen, I I recently noticed that you started、uh, treating me very differently around the office, and it's because I really like you, and I treat those whom I like in very special ways. It was right of you to notice. Well then, Masha. To all your success. Think about Moscow. I will. Waiter. I'll give you a ride home. But you've been drinking. It was just a little. And besides, I've been driving for twenty years. Give you some delicious coffee. My friends from Colombia brought it. Not like that stuff at the restaurant. It's kind of late. Maybe some other time. I promise. <laughs> Masha, I promise you that you'll be home in an hour. I want to get out of the car. Please stop the car. Genji, stop the car, please. I'm asking you nicely. I just want to go home. Pull over. Genji, listen to me. Please stop the car. I'm begging you. Please just stop the car. Can I just let me go? Please let me go. So disobedient. <laughs> is this a black tea? <laughs> it, it, it is.、It's、a little、funny. early for a break.、Uh, I, I was just waiting for you, Ganaji Petrovich. How about you do some work for a change, girls? Uh, if you permit me, there's something I have to talk to you about.、Uh, why did you turn off the phone yesterday? I was calling you all night. I was at a conference. Did you have a question? At a conference with Cherkasova. Is this an interrogation? You think you can spy on me? Hold on, Genji. I'm just asking. I think you should get back to work. By the way, where is my quarterly IFRS report?、Uh, I had a lot of work.、Uh, I gave it to Cherkasova to do. May I? Yeah, yeah. You brought the report. I spent the whole night on it. Can you please look over it carefully? I've never worked on such a complicated report before. Just relax. I'll check it out. Everything will be perfect. Genji Petrovich is very strict about this. You're free to go back to work now. Okay. Masha, it's too early for you to be writing these reports. You need experience, not a diploma. <laughs> Take this to Genji, please. And you?、Mm, I don't want to bother him. Tell him it's the report from Cherkasova. All right. Not another word, Rita. <laughs> Genji, excuse me, may I? So, did you hear about Masha going to the conference? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Of course, of course. I'm sure that's all. Oh, you hear that too? Exactly. Yeah, I know. I hate her. I just. Is she really trying to? Well, I'm sure. How would you know when all the girls do this all the time? Because she's just so embarrassed. You know what else? Not just dinner. You know. You know. That must be how she gets the promotion. Masha, Genji would like to see you. Do you know why? I don't know. 
He said right away. Careful. <laughs> she almost broke her high heel, did you see? How else would it be? Genji is calling for her. What awful taste. What does he see in her? Nothing to look at. I guess you're right. What is this? This is rubbish, not a report. What did they teach you at that university? I can't redo it. Just tell me what part. All of it. And I have no time to teach you. Forgive me for disappointing you. One must pay for one's mistakes. Today we're scheduled to do a presentation of our new banking product, so I hope you can at least handle that. I'll try to. Get the information in the booklets from Xena. Any questions? No. Well, then you can get out of here. By the way, you should think about your behavior and about your future. I will, Genji. Don't worry. May I go now? You can go. Did something happen? No. Maybe there's something I can help you with. You? No thanks, I'll be all right. Why did Genji send you to do the presentation down there? Not exactly the right place for the head of the department. He didn't like the report. <sighs> it's a pity he needed it so urgently. I didn't even have time to go through it. Was he really upset? I have never seen him so angry before. <sighs> you know, between you and me, Ganaji's not very pleasant. Several years ago, we had this one girl working here, Sveta. Well, Ganaji insisted on making her his mistress, but Sveta refused. The ending was pretty sad. He destroyed a professional career, brought her to a nervous breakdown, and fired her. How is he allowed to do this to people? I've known him a long time. He's a very vindictive and stubborn man. Just believe me. What do I do now, Zena? Do I quit? I don't know. I just thought it'd be best to give you a heads up. Want some chocolate? No, thank you very much. May I go now? Of course. Dear clients of our National Bank, please pay attention to our exciting new line of banking products. We've managed to reduce the interest on our loans and also managed to lower deposit fees. You don't want to miss this opportunity. This is exactly where you belong. Very classy. Excuse me. You forgot your coffee back there. It's all right. You know, maybe we should move the table over there. What for? Does it bother you? Is it some kind of safety hazard, or are we not following instructions or something? <laughs> no, it's just cold under here. It's better over there. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's move it. <clears throat> Masha, hello. Since when do you work in an advertising agency? Have you come all this way just to make fun of me? No, I'm sorry. I came to say that life's terrible without you. Oh, I'm sorry. You can move to your new location. It's all ready, miss. Thank you, Egor. Egor, maybe you could also help me by moving this rack over there? Oh, of course. Excuse me. <sighs> Masha, uh, I... Um, where did you want me to move it? Over there, please. By the table. Igor, please go. I need to get back to work. I'll see you later. Oh, I'm sure you will. Meet ya. We close in 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go get some coffee. Can I get you anything? No, thanks. I'll just wait till I get home. I mean, why waste money? 
And what is your new rate? Well, it depends on many factors. Uh, we mm -hmm. have a special offer. Uh, right now, if you take... You know what? Never mind. I need to think about it. Thank you. I'll come by tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you. They saw me. Kill them. All three of them? Yes. They'll give us up anyway. Stay. Kill them. Stay there. Kill them. Kill, Kill them, them all. all. Ah. Ah. Thank you, Mia. Oh. 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 Masha, are you are you okay? Did they hurt you at all? You're brave. Well done. Oh. Uh, you're bleeding. Uh, this is nothing. It's a simple scratch. Masha, how are you feeling? Are you hurt? Can I get you something? No, I don't want anything. How's Edgar? He was taken to the hospital. Doctors said he'll live. Marina, did they let you go? Yes, the investigator said that I was free to go home. And Masha as well. All right. You can go. I want both of you to go ahead and take the rest of the week off. To clear your mind. If journalists call asking about the robbery, don't tell them anything. And tell the police I didn't allow it. Is that clear? I'll call for a driver to take you. Lie down, don't get up. Does it hurt? <laughs> well, no. Just didn't expect to see you here. And so I moved. A bouquet from the staff was already enough. Stop telling fairy tales to the girl and tell her the truth. You know, it was right for her to come. In three days, not a living soul came to visit you. <laughs> it's not right. Ah, oh, Semyonovich. What? Where are your relatives? Well, I have nobody. I'm an orphan. Well, anyway, I got you a few things. I don't know what you like, so I brought you stuff that I like. Thank you so much. Honestly, I love everything. Especially the meals they serve her in the hospital. <laughs> That's for sure. Maybe you want something else? How about you bring me some books? It's so boring in here, you almost want to hang yourself. <laughs> Excuse I know. me, it's time for your shots. Miss, can you wait in the hallway, please? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll just wait out here until you're done. Thank you. Genji, but listen, if it weren't for Edgar, they would have robbed the bank. 
He's a real hero. Yeah, he's a hero. The old man was also a fighter. Yes, I'm talking about the same thing, but only Edgar was wounded. Genji, don't you... Don't you think we should give him some kind of bonus? Everybody thinks so. We will. Are you a social activist now? No, why? I just believe in justice, that's all. I believe in justice too. Forgive me for the other night, I was confused. Really, it's okay, Genji, because I forgive you. Peace. Peace. Absolutely delicious, seriously. Masha did a good job. Have some more. I'm already full. Really? Really. For a pie like this? You should marry that girl, huh, Mr. Hero? <laughs> I would marry her without the pies. So? What's the problem? Why would she need me? I mean, did you even see her? She's a future banker. Her mother's a professor. She has a PhD. And who am I? You're no one. You're a hero, but you choose to behave like a servant. Listen to me. Girls don't need guys with lots of money in order for them to feel loved. And they also don't need money to respect the guy they love. Understand? Got it. Well, if anything, I'll just refer to you as the chief specialist in the opposite sex. Mm-hmm. This is Egor, my hero. Well, like all heroes, he's very modest. I barely managed to persuade him to come over here to meet you guys. Well, that's not true. I wanted... I mean, it's my pleasure. <laughs> uh, well, these, these are for you. Masha, yes. come on. You didn't have to embarrass Egor. Thank you for coming. Nikolai, my husband and I really wanted to get to know you. Yes. Now we owe you a life debt, young man. You can ask me for anything. Oh, what are we standing here for? <laughs> come in, please come in. I got it. Thank you. And this is for you. It's a small present from our family to you. This, Thank of you. course, is because we're so grateful for what you did for Masha. Thank you so much. I don't feel right accepting. You won't feel right if you're unshaven. <laughs> <laughs> Take it, and I hope you enjoy it. Yes, of course. Well, you were saying, Agor? Um, well, after the orphanage, I, I worked for a year in a factory, and then I went to the army. That's where I learned to jump with a parachute. Oh, I always dreamed of being able to do something like that. <clears throat> if you want, I can teach you someday. After discharge, I went to a security agency, and I've been working there for about three months now. What about formal education? I mean, going to college or university? You can't be a security guard all your life. <laughs> no, of course not. I originally planned to go to college, too, to study car design. And that was the plan, but then there was the army. And after that, I forgot all about my plan. And, well, you know, I, I had to work to earn a living. Mom. Don't you see that good guys like Edgar have to struggle to get an education? While at the university you have lots of kids who are worthless and lazy, whose parents pay their tuition. Masha, I really have no idea what you're talking about. Masha, that's how life's, um, it's generally unfair. Therefore, we must improve it on our own and do our best. Right, Edgar? Yeah, I agree with you. Everything depends on us. All right. Let's drink to family. <laughs> Egor, do you still plan on eventually going back to college to study car design? Are you kidding? I won't pass my exams. I was talking to my mother, and we are ready to help you out. She will teach you physics, and I will teach you the other subjects. And what's in it for you, Masha? It doesn't matter. Do you want to do it? Or is being a guard your dream? Of course I want to. What a poor guy. And why does Cherkasova need a guy like that? I don't know. 
He's not much of a hero by traditional standards. And what if this is love? <laughs> Stop joking, Rita. Although... The thought is interesting. Uh, you've completely forgotten me, my Teddy. You don't ever come to visit me. You avoid me at work. Are you okay? I have a ton of work and I'm tired, Xena. Mm -mm. I learned about your Moscow promotion from others. Afraid I'd want to come with you? I just didn't want to tell you ahead of time. <laughs> Listen, Kennedy. Do you think I'm some kind of idiot? I'm not gonna insist anymore. You know what? I don't care. I'm gonna come out and say it. You're not much of a man, Genaji. <laughs> and yes, by the way, your protege, Cherkasova, loves our security guard. See, even he is better than you. <laughs> Rita, please bring me Cherkasova. I need a report on our client base, please. Okay, and by when do you need it? Before lunch enough time? It is. In two weeks, I won't be here anymore. I saw my office on the 20th floor. The view in Moscow is stunning. I'm so happy for you, Genaji. I wish you good luck. <laughs> so you're not coming with me? No, uh, I'm gonna stay here. Is it true that you're having an affair with a security guard? Who told you that? What's the difference? I don't believe this, to be honest with you. I really don't. I mean, what could a bright girl like you possibly have in common with a mere guard who has a brain the size of a nut? What gives you the right to insult people? Why are you getting so hot? So is it true, Masha? Rita? You can go. You're free for the day. What do you think you're doing? So the guard turned out to be better than me. Oh, let me go. Let me go. Come here. Come here. Zina. Ganaji sent me home. And he locked himself up with Cherkasova. Let's go. I'll destroy the both of you. You don't know who you're messing with. Uh, no, you moron. Uh. I need to know. I mean, how am I supposed to go back to a place like that? Why should you ever go back there at all? <laughs> because I need to write a notice of resignation at the very least. I can't just stop showing up. I have to go to work. Masha, if you need my help, I'm always going to be here for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's getting late. It's time for me to sleep. I got the hint. I'll disappear.
Egor? Egor? Well, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. But wait. He went crazy from all his recent heroism. And the girls are complaining that he assaulted them. Yeah, and I think you better fire him. Yeah, today, no reason to wait. Thank you, Fomich, thank you. Uh, did Egor leave? <laughs> He was fired. In the morning. What do you mean, fired? I mean, for what? For disrespectful behavior. Someone complained that he was drunk to work and assaulted the bank's employees. What? That's ridiculous. It's not true. True or not true, those are the rules. Hey. Hey. Come in. Take off the shoes, the kitchen is shared, and don't use water in the bathroom. Oh yeah? Well, by the way, the law states that you can only smoke in your room. Otherwise, you'd be fired for breaking smoke regulations. And negligence. <sighs> well Come done, on. Masha. <laughs> That's all for today, Anna. You can go back in your room, sit there, and poison yourself. Edgar, you are fired for no reason. It's not right, it's slander. You can't leave it like this. Masha, don't worry about it. I have arms, legs, a head. I'll have no problem finding another job. And this person will live on thinking that he can do whatever he wants. Egor, I really need you to give me your boss's phone number because I really want to talk to him. Don't worry about it. I'm not going back to the bank. Egor, seriously, give me his number. It's not going to work. My boss and Genji are good friends, you understand? <sighs> I'm sorry. It turns out that I set you up again and... Again you're suffering because of me. I don't consider it suffering. I did what I thought was the right thing to do. And I couldn't just leave you there with him. Because I've loved you ever since I first laid eyes on you. Sorry, I probably shouldn't have said that. I understand everything. You don't need some security guard or an orphan in your life. But seriously, I won't get upset and I won't take offense. It's just that we're not going to be seeing each other anymore and I wanted you to know. All right, Edgar, stop. Don't you understand? I don't care who you are or where you're from. I don't care about what anybody else tells me. I only want to be with you. <laughs> Something wrong, Trikasova. First of all, I quit. Secondly, I went to the police and I told them about you attempting to rape me. I have evidence and a witness. <laughs> what rape? What evidence do you have? This. I'm making sure that you're punished to the fullest extent of the law, you pig. <clears throat> this one's for me. <clears throat> and this is for Egor. Damn it. You said, this isn't right for the workplace. So why are you being so impatient? Cut it out, Zena. You can't go to prison for this. Well, maybe not. 
But the bank's management won't like this kind of story getting out, especially on the eve of your appointment to Moscow. But maybe she hasn't shown it to anyone. What do you think? Zena, think of something. You're a clever girl, right? <laughs> and before you didn't appreciate me, my little teddy. Uh, well, come on, please. I seriously don't know how to help you, Genji. It's a pity you didn't come with us. The weather was absolutely beautiful, right? And the forest is a marvel. We picked an entire basket of penny bun mushrooms. Hunt, your ex Igor called, complaining that you don't answer the phone. He asked how you've been doing. Obviously, he's worried about you. Maybe you'll get back together. Well, everything that happens in life can be forgiven. Igor is a very good man. He is. And I'm sure he'll make an excellent husband. Mm. Just stop. Why stop, Masha? Please stop talking about Igor. Don't you realize I've met Igor now? Igor? What does he have to do with anything? Well, all I'm saying is that Igor and I love each other, Mom. I don't need anybody else. You mean you fell in love with a... Security guard? <laughs> Mom, you've always said personality is important, not their social status, remember? Masha, please, I know exactly what I said. But you and a guard from an orphanage? You have nothing in common, obviously. Nico, are you going to say something? I'm absolutely shocked. Masha, come to your senses. It is me who is shocked. Because obviously I have more in common with Egor than I have with my very own parents. Do you know where Genji is? Someone from the board wanted to see him. I said he was out. I don't know where Genji Petrovich is now. He was fired about an hour ago for behavior that compromises the business reputation of our bank, Rita. Oh, wow. They found that out quickly. Was it Cherkasova who complained? <laughs> you? Well then, bravo. You did the right thing. That pig seriously deserved it. Here it is. The notice of my appointment as the new director of our branch. Congratulations. Well done. Hello, is Egor home? Egor, you have a visitor. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I've missed you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you know what day it is? Uh, well, it's Tuesday morning. Oh, Egor, did you forget? Well, actually, today is 10 days since we started dating each other. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Are you joking? Well, <laughs> did you really think that I would forget? Voila, as they say in France. I'm always with you. <laughs> it's beautiful. Wait a second. This is what I got you. Whoa. Just in case you're tired of reading detective stories and stuff about cars. <laughs> Very cool. And what's this one about? Um, about feelings? It's a story about true love that is once and forever. Once and forever. So it's about our love.
Hello, Zena, darling. Good morning. Good morning, Rita. So what do you think? It's perfect. What is that? I brought it to celebrate, my friend. First of all, please get off the table. Mm -hmm. Secondly, not a friend, but Zineda Alegovna. And third, no drinking alcohol during work hours. Oh, and let me remind you that I'm your boss now, and that you are my secretary. Go on, get back to work. so fast I thought my heart was gonna jump out of my chest. All right, catch your breath. And what about the movie? We're gonna be late, and I've been wanting to watch it all week long. Your heart is more important to me. All right. By the way, these are for you. Oh, thank you. Mm. Well, are we going? Did you catch your breath? I did. Are you lying? I'm not. Well, then let's go. Let's go. <laughs> How's your day? Good. Good? I didn't have to get out of bed today. I must have hit snooze at least three times. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Don't you think that man over there looks a lot like Genji? Looks like him. What a man he has become. I mean, he used to be such a self-assured and successful banker. Yeah. Well, you wanted to make sure he was punished. Mm, well, I don't know. Maybe I should go to the police station and refuse my statement. But why? Well, look at how life has been punishing him lately. And I'm already so happy. Masha, you surprise me. Let's at least cheer him up, or he'll hang himself from grief. Kenaji, over here! Hello there! Come over here, man! We have to tell you something important. Wow, what a sight. A man that once had everything in the world and now he runs away from us. Agor, let's go to the movies or we're gonna be late. <laughs> Stop overreacting. Masha will realize he's not a good partner and she'll leave him. Well, maybe you're right about our daughter. We made sure that she was brought up well. Remember what she told us about one's social status? Well, what do you suggest? We have to fight. And make sure our baby girl doesn't ruin her life. Yeah, maybe she doesn't understand that a security guard isn't a suitable partner for her. Trust me, she'll thank us. So why did you quit the bank? I mean, at least it's respectable, not just some park. Well, at least I can spend my day in the open air. And home's not far away. It's like a 10-minute walk. Yeah, I understand. It's convenient. Well, I have something serious to tell you. I'm listening, Elena. Tell me. You are a very good guy. And believe me when I say that as a teacher, I'm familiar with kids these days. Thank you, Elena. I'm pleased that you appreciate me so much. And yet I, both Nikolai and I, we'd like you to stop seeing Masha. I understand that you're in love with each other, but your relationship, your relationship just has no future. From one adult to another, Agar, you have nothing to offer her. So that's why you came here? Well, from one adult to another, I'm asking you not to concern yourself about our future. They're just words, Agor. Just be real with yourself. What do you possibly have to offer her? Look, I don't want to offend you. But you know yourself more than anyone else. I 
I understand that it's very difficult to give up on a person you love. You can do it for her. Am I right? You probably didn't understand me correctly. I'm not going to abandon Masha. I figured you'd say that. I can get you into college without having to take any examinations. Thank you very much. I don't need it. I can give you a lot. Money. As much as you want, but please. Please, Egor, just leave Masha. I beg you for God's sake. I beg you. Are you mad? I'm not going to trade Masha for money. And uh, this is what we're going to give from the two of us. And what's in there? It's a ring. Lisa wanted it for a long time. Well, if it's a gift from both of us, come on, I have to pitch in. No, Wagger, no. What? Just consider that I'm helping you save your money. <laughs> no, Masha, it's wrong. I have to pay half the cost of the gift. Okay, okay, fine. Yes, you'll pay me back. But come on already, or else we're going to be late. <sighs> I really don't like hanging out with people I don't know. Come on, stop it, Edgar. They're my friends. The least you could do is just be yourself. And my friends are gonna like you, okay? Hmm? Nah, Let's go. Okay. Hey! Mwah. Good to see you. Lisa, let me introduce you to Edgar. Lisa. <laughs> nice to meet you. And have your parents arrived already? Yes, in the morning. You won't believe what it took to get them to fly out. <laughs> By the way, here it is. Ba bum! And it's in my favorite pearl white, 500 horsepower. Oh, Mom, Dad, thank you so much. Mwah. Congratulations, your dreams are coming true. Thank you, thank you. What did Sergey get you? Oh, well, Sergey gave me a cruise on the Mediterranean. We agreed not to give each other expensive gifts. We're saving up for a new flat. Well done. And this is from us. <gasps> thank you. What is it? <gasps> Thank you, sweetie. I wanted this so much. Thank you, really. <laughs> Thank you, Edgar. Well, don't just stand here. Come into the living room. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, guys. I'd like you to meet Masha. Masha, hello. You look absolutely stunning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me introduce you to uh, Igor. Igor. Masha will confirm everything. She Hi saw there. it with her own eyes. Masha, come here for a second. Guys, can I borrow her for a bit? Masha, come here really quick. Be right back. Stay here. I won't take long. That's a nice suit. Thank you. So tell me, have you and Masha been working together, or what? No. Uh, I work in security. Oh. I'm a lawyer. A corporate lawyer. Is it just me, or have I seen you somewhere? I just have a very good memory for faces. It seems to me that we've met somewhere before. Wait a minute. The bank. When I went to see Masha at the bank, you were moving tables. Right? I mean, was that you? Or am I confusing something? It was you, right? Yeah, it's me. My memory is very good. Igor, let's drink something. Whiskey's way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let me introduce you. My dear friends, I'd like you to meet a wonderful person. Uh, this is Igor, a friend of Masha, and he works over at the bank. Do you guys know him? Um, security guard. That's right, he's a guard. What, are you serious, a security guard? Yeah, I'm a guard. You have a problem with that? Mm, no, actually. Igor, let's go. Stop, 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 stop. We just really want to ask you, we're all very interested. What's it like to work as a guard? Like, what's your day like? Is it fun? It's fine. And the salary's good? I understand, bro. Trust me, if I had a salary like that, I would be silent too. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Just one more question. <laughs> hey, hey. What, what are happened? you doing? Oh, Edgar, uh, what right? did you do? Oh, everything okay? I hit him in the face. Goodbye, everyone. Hey, we're not done yet. Lisa, I'm sorry. I should probably go. Masha, are you out of your mind? Who is that guy? It just really hurts. Well, you're alive, right? It's unbelievable. This is crazy. Egor, even if he started bullying you, that's no reason for you to go around hitting people. You could have somehow explained it with words. People like that don't respond to words. It doesn't matter. You were a guest, Egor. That's no way to behave. You completely embarrassed me back there. In front of who? In front of a bunch of fake people who are all still living at the expense of their parents? You don't know anything about them, Egor. What do you know? They all went to school to earn money for themselves. Tell me what's wrong with living in a beautiful and expensive apartment, driving nice cars and dressing well. Is there something wrong with that? You're stupidly jealous, you know. Oh, I'm jealous. Yes. You know, Masha, if you really think about me that way, then I guess I was wrong about you. Well, I was wrong about you. I invented a prince from an orphanage. Listen, you have to give up on Masha. I mean, look around. There are plenty of normal girls out there. I don't need a normal girl. I need Masha. She'd make a perfect wife. And she, in my opinion, has different plans. And gentlemen are also different. I guess we'll see. You want to dance? Sorry. Are you okay, Masha? It's a burn. We should take you to see a doctor. No, Mia, everything's fine. I'll be okay, really. I haven't seen you in a long time. Yes, I've been getting sick. Been having problems with my heart since the day of the robbery. But I think it's time for me to resign. I have my notice here. It is truly a pity that you're leaving us. You're a very good person, meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't get sick anymore, okay? Thank you, Masha. Thank you. Just like I was telling you. That should be fine. Oh, Masha. Igor came by to visit us. He wants to talk to you about something. I'll leave you two alone. Thank you. Well, what do you want? Masha. I want to ask forgiveness for what I did yesterday. I provoked him and uh, I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. Okay, I forgive you. Are you okay? Masha, I'm all to blame, but I'm your friend. What was I thinking? Why did I ever ask him to go to that stupid birthday party? Are you fighting? Masha, this is nonsense. It happens. You'll make up. Really. Now it's just necessary to wait and everything will be fine. In the meantime, you shouldn't be left alone, so I propose to take a walk. We'll get your favorite donuts. How about that? <laughs> okay. Let's go. Donuts sound pretty good. I've been craving them all week. You know I was sick when you left me. It's your fault. I know, I'm an idiot for what I did. But now I finally know what true love is. Thanks to you. You're welcome. But knowledge itself means nothing. With love, everything happens for a reason. Yes, and if something goes wrong, old friends are always ready to help out, lend a shoulder, or take a kick. Well, I'm only joking. <laughs> I'm just trying to cheer you up. I got it. 
<laughs> and you've changed. And for the better. I like it. Thank you. Well, where are these so-called donuts? Um, this way. Igor, between us, what's with Masha and Igor? Well, it seems like something happened, but she doesn't tell us anything. As far as I understand, they had a serious fight, and perhaps they broke up. No way. <clears throat> but why? Well, could you please find out and tell us? She doesn't want to tell us anything at all. Okay, but the two of you will support me, of course, if necessary. Igor, of course. You know that Nikolai and I are always on your side. You know that. Well, I'm ready to go. Sweetheart, you look absolutely beautiful. I'm speechless. You oh, look amazing. Oh, my dear parents. Mm. Are you coming home after the theater? Elena. No, I understand. You're adults and you know what to do. <laughs> Mama, we're going. <laughs> Nikolai, thank you. <laughs> they really broke up. That's wonderful. I told you everything's going to be fine. Masha is a clever girl. Oh, damn it. Explain, please. I can't continue working at a company where all of my colleagues look at me like I'm sick. Mm. Yes, you're right, Masha. The story with Genji is, of course, awful, and how can I say it? Very popular. I myself thought of telling you it'd be best if you look for another job. Thanks for nothing. By the way, I took the liberty of asking our employees, and they told me that there was never a girl that Genaji drove into insanity. She never worked here. Why did you lie to me, Zena? Everyone's fighting for their own happiness, aren't they? You're still young. Someday you'll understand. But are you happy? No. 
But now I have my very own office, don't I? Good luck with the hunt. How was it? Well, I quit my job. And is that good news or bad? Well, it's good news, I think. Congratulations. Take a walk with me? Let's go. So now that you don't have a job, what will you do with your free time? I don't know. I haven't decided. I'll give you a hint. You and I are going to go to Venice, because I know that you've always wanted to see the okay, bridge Okay, Igor, but now circumstances have changed All and... All right, Masha, but circumstances always change. But Venice is waiting. That's why we should just pack our things and get Igor, on the... Igor, I am very grateful that you've been here for me for the past few days. And I think I'm finally ready to forgive you for what happened at the club. But I'm in love with another man, okay? Who, with Egor? That delinquent doesn't deserve you. Stop calling him that. He's just had a hard time growing up. That's why he acts that way. And you know, maybe it was my fault to get mad at him in the first place. <laughs> so, well, you know what? You know what we should drink to? To the best what? orphanage ever, number 35. <laughs> We're against all odds, real boys. Just like Agor and I became men, right, Agor? <laughs> to us. Cheers, you guys. You know what? <laughs> I would have all these children's homes behind bars and barbed wire. Because nothing but criminals come out of there. <laughs> what did you say? I'm not talking about you and Agor, but in principle. <laughs> His house was broken into by orphans. <laughs> Those jerks. He deserved it so that he knows what we're made of. You hear me, idiot? Here, boys, boys, stop fighting. Tell me something funny instead. Egor, mm. what are you so gloomy about? Am I gloomy? Yes. No, I'm happy. I'm more happy than all the comedians in the world combined. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, guys, tell him he's gloomy. Yes, you're gloomy. Girls don't like sad little boys. <laughs> ah. Girls don't know what they want. They just go after guys with shiny new toys. And that's for sure. Come on. No, oh, come on, Edgar. Why are you so pissed off? Stop being so serious and tell me a joke. Or do you want me to kiss you? <laughs> Masha. Well done, Edgar. You sure know how to waste time, don't you? Masha, what are you saying? I. <clears throat> you're all that I need. Hey, what's this slut doing I, here, Agor? I did not and I came for the books and I need to take them back to the library. Where are they, Agor? Masha, please wait. We really need to Enough. Talk. Masha, please. I said don't touch me, you idiot. And take your stupid bracelet back. A little dramatic, don't you think? That was well, crazy. If she doesn't want the bracelet, you think that I can keep it, huh? Just take it. <laughs> uh, hey, what's going on, you guys? Come on, let's drink. Let's get this party started. That's what I'm talking uh, about. Right. Let's okay. line up some shots. <laughs> Mom, how could Edgar do that to me? There, there, sweetie. Don't fret, okay? Listen, sweetie, maybe it's even for the best that this happened. I told you that orphan was not worthy of your attention or your love. You filled your head with nonsense, my little girl. Mom, I don't understand why I'm so unlucky. I mean, maybe someone put a curse on me or something. No, what are you saying, you silly girl? You just have to forget him as quickly as possible. You hear me? And everything will be fine. I'm telling you, I'm your mother. My heart tells me so. Come here. <sighs> this was a good walk. Listen, let's go home. My legs are getting tired. Mom, are you serious? We've only been walking for 10 minutes. Just sit down over there for a while if it's too hard for you. 
Oh, look, it's a horse and carriage. <laughs> Elena, listen, um, it seems we agreed that you would persuade Masha to go to Venice with me. You know that Agor works in this park. I really don't want them to see each other. What a good horsey. Mom, remember when I used to ride them when I was little? Of course, and on the weekends we came several times. I want to go for a ride. I'm serious, please don't laugh at me. That's no problem, Masha. Is twice around enough? Mm-hmm. What's the horse's name? It's Venice. Masha, it's a sign. You think so? Of course I do. What is there to think about? Listen, go to Venice. You'll relax. You've wanted to go for a long time. You know, you'll come back as a different person. Well, well, since you all think so. Okay. Masha, come on. Everybody's waiting. And you? No, this kind of stuff's not for me. I'll just wait here with your mom. Well, then we can go. Let's go, Venice. <laughs> Don't be freaked out. There's nobody here. You don't freak out. I blew up 30 shells with a battery once. Just hurry up and fire it. possibly stop a horse. Somebody stop the horse! Watch out! Save my life once again. Of course I did. You know I'm your personal bodyguard. You're not my personal bodyguard. You're my guardian angel. Oh. This park should definitely be sued. The suit could be won and good compensation could be received. No, I'll personally Igor. deal with this issue. No need for any suit, Igor. There's no need for any of that. I thought you were a man, but you're just, you're just a coward. And please leave us alone. Just leave us alone forever. 
You guys are gonna regret it. Masha, nothing happened with anyone in that apartment. I only need you. I love you so much. Do you believe me? It's okay, Egwer. I believe you. Uh, shh, 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 shh. Uh, oh, hush, Egwer. Come uh, on, please, just don't move. You're still very hurt. Shh. Quiet. Why are you smiling, Masha? Do you remember? Once and forever. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. 